All right, welcome to episode 180, 180 episodes. Um, I'm going to start this one off, just kind of be a, another day in the life with, with sort of a, a point. So I'll go ahead and tell you the point that's going to kind of thread its way through this video. The point of this video is work smart, not hard. And just quickly, let me say, what that means is you work really hard for a little while and then you, you make it so that all that hard work can be used over and over again. That, that's the concept of work smart, not hard. Or, you know, using the right tool for the job, things like that. All right, I want to start this video off with uh, a, a word of thanks and a, and a shout out. Uh, a guy that I follow, a guy I met in No Small Creator uh, Facebook group, named Sean Gunther. Sean has a channel called Mission Zero. And uh, in a video, he... Um, he, he referenced one of my videos and said some really nice things about me. Okay, so the second thing uh, that you really have to watch out for comes to us from a good buddy of mine, Bill Snodgrass. So Bill does these amazing Snap Life videos that are these like two or three minute motivational things about how to live a better life. And I've been watching all of his videos and commenting on them and liking them and everything. Mission Zero is a, a very positive, uplifting, building person building uh, channel. Sean is very energetic. He has great videography skills. His, his cinematography is, is really, really good. And some of the things he says are just, are just profound. Um, he speaks with, uh, very intelligently and, and obviously from a, a, a perspective of, of the a Christian worldview. Uh, and, and the things that he has to say are not always, are not always you know, related to religion, but, but sometimes they are. And they are always very positive, very building, very encouraging, uh, challenging sometimes, you know, encouraging in the way that's like, yeah, I, I probably should, I should probably do that. So go over and check his channel out. The, the, um, you can click up here on the, the card, or you can wait to the end cards at the end of the video, and uh, uh, it'll be there too. Also, since, since you're, you know, clicking on stuff, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel while, while you're at it. All right. So we did the band senior pictures last night by, by we, I mean, um, Emma Krill and I, and they really came out really, really good pictures. But as I was setting up, one of my, one of my strobes um, w wouldn't come on, wouldn't fire, wouldn't come on. So I changed the fuse. I thought, well, maybe I'll blow a few. So while I eat my Pop-Tart and drink my juice and sip on my coffee, I'm going to see if I can get that strobe working again. So... That's the first thing on today's agenda. Uh, today's exciting. This is my favorite topic in chemistry. So we do chemistry physics. Today we're doing uh, kinetic theory of matter, introducing it. And this, is, this topic, kinetic theory, it leads into the gas laws. And uh, this, this is probably my favorite part of chemistry. Um, I don't know why it's my favorite, but it's just fun. It's exciting. Had a lot of fun with it the last couple of years. I'm looking forward to doing it this year. Might be, there might be. There might be a world around this video coming out of this one. So, all right, I'm going to eat my stuff and see if I can get that strobe to work and then get on with the day. So let's get this thing started. Thanks for being here. Doing this, doing this with uh, out a screwdriver was much, much more difficult. As far as I can tell, this was a new fuse and it looks to be okay. Yeah, I was doing it with like a key, you know, car key, filing cabinet key, whatever kind of key I had. Not the not the best choice. Also, not looking at the screw while you're turning it. Not a good choice. Nothing, nothing. So it is not the fuse, not the bulb. This one has a fan on it. This one has a fan on it and uh, usually as soon as you turn it on, the fan starts working. So I got nothing. Well, there is a disappointing moment in the life of Bill Snodgrass photography. 
the dead strobe. Oh well. I got a lot of things to do today, so I'll do that. So yeah, I got a lot, a lot of things to do today. That's the least of my worries, so let's continue with this day. I'm going to finish my coffee and Pop-Tart, and then I'm going to go back to the other room and get things going. Hang around. A lot more to come. I, I can't not respond to this. I got this... Um, it's a Facebook message. If, if people come to your door and want to take your blood, that, that you shouldn't let them. I, I don't know if this is a, a real, I don't know if this is a real, you know, threat or a real, or is it one of those just things that get passed around Facebook? I kind of think it's just one of those things that gets passed around Facebook. But if someone comes to your door and wants to take your blood, and, you know, unannounced. And that, that seems like a really bad idea to me. Just, just thinking out loud. Yeah, that's all. All right. I'm going to talk about this uh, work smart, not hard concept. But first of all, I'll say this. I, I was going to go back to these picnic tables. I was going to sit there and get the, the camera and the mic. And, and um, I just realized that it, th th there's a sort of a, a comfort level of sitting in this seat that I wasn't expecting after standing up and teaching all day. I'm, I'm still, as I said in yesterday's video, I, I'm still really fatigued. My, I, my abdominal muscles are not doing enough of the work. I'm getting better, I hope, but I'm just like kind of enjoying the headrest and the armrest and the seat. Uh, so work hard, not smart. This is a principle based on putting front loading a lot of effort and energy so that as time goes on, the process of the repeatable process is easier. If you're doing woodworking, a lot of times you'll spend a whole bunch of time rigging up, uh, jigging up uh, a cut. If you're going to cut like six boards the same length, then you'll you'll rig that up and you'll use clamps and stops and boom, bam, boom. The first one will take you three times as long to do it, but then you're going to cut six boards the same length. It's much, much faster. Front loading the effort makes the ongoing process easier. In um, in the ICP, the Introduction to Chemistry Physics class, three years ago, um, every lesson was new. Everything was new. I had to do everything new from this from the start. And somewhere early on, my wife said, uh, she's, a, she's also a teacher, she said, you know, a lot of your students would benefit from having a copy of your, of your lecture notes. And I was like, well, if a lot of my students would benefit from my lecture notes being available to them, let me make it even easier. I will put my lecture notes on a blog spot thing, a blogger, you know, so, so I, I created a blog called The World Around Us. And, and as, as I began to, to go through that semester, I began to make videos that went along with the topics. And so now, this is the third year that I'm teaching the same curriculum. So what I'm doing this year is... So I had the notes inside our learning management system and I had the notes inside the, the blogs blogger thing. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to make so that the blogger thing appears in the learning management system, which is a, a feature the learning management system has. That way, when it's time to update, like I've been updating content today, updating some of the wording and fixing, I only have to do it in one place. That is, it's more effort. I have to go in and, Take out what's there and, 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 and put in. It's not a lot of effort, but I have to do something. But now, I only have to make corrections in one place. That is working smart. So, next year, when I need to update something on, you know, states of matter and solids and liquids and gases, I only have to do it in one place. And it will already be automatically updated in the learning management system. So I put in a little effort this year so that 
next year, it'll be even easier. And I'll be able to focus more on embellishing and expanding and making things better. Likewise, as we do uh, examples and demonstrations, I I'm doing more and more of the World Around Us videos, and those will last in uh, the, the playlist so that easier in the future. A little effort now to make a video demonstrating viscosity. I did that a couple of weeks ago. So here's a demonstration of viscosity. Once done, now the fun. You can just keep going back and using the same thing. That's the concept of work smart, not hard. Front load the effort so that the repeated process becomes easier over time. Well, that's probably enough on the topic. Uh, there is a, uh, a cancer awareness uh, volleyball match tonight. They, it's dig pink or something. So all, all the uniforms for our team tonight, I think they have a pink and white volleyball. Um, I have been, it's been requested for me to go and shoot that. So between now and about, about two hours from now or an hour and 45 minutes, I'm gonna get something to eat and try to rest and uh, then I'll uh, go shoot that volleyball match. I'm gonna go change shirts because if everybody's wearing pink, this is sort of a, a drastic contrast to that color. So I am gonna change shirts. Uh, that's pretty much my plan. Not pink, but it's red. It's in the same direction as pink. So, yeah. Getting back, I'll uh, try to do the junior varsity and the freshman and the varsity. Get some, uh, get some good pictures for your book and social media and all that stuff. All right, volleyball match was, was pretty good. Um, I had a good time shooting it and I hope you uh, enjoyed the little video clip I, I, I shared. I was out of focus on purpose because, you know, minors and underage and all that. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, uh, leave me a comment, question, or a suggestion. That's all I got for this one. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.